Hey everyone, happy Thursday. It's Connor here, welcome back. Hope you're all enjoying your day so far. So I've got a really fun and exciting video to share with you guys today. As promised, we're gonna be talking about the new Halloween for Kringle for 2023. So I am super excited to share these with you guys. Kringle was kind enough to send over six of the new scents. Um, and so I'm gonna be sharing my thoughts on these. I also have some other information about the other scents, the release and all the info you need to know. So if you're a big Halloween fan, make sure to stay tuned. I know a lot of you highly anticipated this video. So um, hopefully you enjoy it. All right, so we have a lot of new news for Halloween. The um, launch date is gonna be August 4th at 12.01 a.m. So that's gonna be Thursday, late, late on Thursday into Friday morning. So um, August 4th at 12.01 a.m. I believe that's one week away from today. Or no, I'm sorry, that's, mm, that's like a week and a half from today. Um, so yeah, that is the launch. These are not gonna be a pre-order like they have been in the past. These will be shipping immediately. In the past, they've done the pre-order where you basically order yours, normally around the early August time frame, but then they start to ship out in late August and early September. That is not gonna be happening this year. They are gonna be shipping out immediately. Um, I am not sure why I was not told. I was just told that they will be shipping immediately. Um, some info you need to know, there will be 18 Kringle Two Wicks that are in the 22 ounce 100% soy jars. So we've got the black jars once again. The labels on these are so pretty. I'll show you guys in a second, but they're coming in the 22 ounce 100% soy Two Wicks. Um, let's see, there's also gonna be six Kringle Three Wick 14 ounce 100% soy painted three wick tumblers. Um, so we will have the little cute uh, three wicks. Those I'll show you on the camera or on the phone because I don't have them with me, but those have really cute labels. And then there will be no country candle Halloween this year. Um, I'm honestly not surprised by that because they obviously have a new formulation for country candles. So I don't know if they had time to do that. And I just think these look so cool compared to the country candles. So um, yeah, that is the info you need to know. Um, so let's start going through these scents. I know you guys are really excited for this video. Before I do get started, I wanna um, let you guys know, and I've made this no secret here on my channel, I'm not a huge Halloween person, to be honest. Um, I don't like dislike it. Um, I just feel like fall is my favorite season, personally. I love fall. I love um, the weather. I love the scents. I love the holidays that are in fall. Um, so I just love fall so much. Obviously Halloween falls in fall, uh, falls during fall. Um, but I don't know, Halloween, it's just like not my big thing, I guess, for the fragrances. I think they're very fun. They're very unique, but personally, I would just rather buy like fall pumpkin spice scents. And like, I think, um, like some of the like spookier scents or like the, I don't know, weirder scents maybe, or like, I don't know, kind of turn me off a little bit. So... Personally, um, I'm not gonna go crazy, but I know that there are some Halloween fanatics here. So um, yeah, let me know if you guys are gonna be shopping, but thank you to Kringle for sending these over because there are some really good scents in this collection just out of the ones that they sent me. I feel like they tried to send me some that were like gonna be more in my um, range. So thanks Kringle for sending these over and definitely check out other YouTubers and Instagrammers to see if they got different um, candles and PR. All right, so let's go through um, the ones that they sent me. I'll show you guys the label and then I'll kind of go in depth. And then at the end, I'll share with you guys the other stuff, the other tumblers and then the three wicks as well. All right, so let's start with this one. This is kind of appropriate to start with. This is called Halloween right here. The labels are so cool on these, you guys. Um, no notes on the bottom. I don't know how much these are. I wanna say that they're probably gonna be 3150, just like the reserve candles since they are the black jars and they probably use different oils in them. All right, so that was Halloween. All right, this one's called Trick or Treat. This is my favorite of the new ones that they did send me right here. Um, let's see, should we go creepy? Yes, this is called Coven. Ooh, creepy. Look at that. 
I had to do some research on what a coven actually was. I'd heard it before, but I didn't really know what it was. And it was like, I think it's like when witches like meet up and like do witchcraft. Kind of creepy. Perfect for Halloween. Um, seven days. I think this is the scariest label out of all of them. That is just one creepy girl on that label. Is that a girl? I'm guessing, but yeah. Seven days. All right, um, let's see. This one's creepy as well. This is called It's Evil right here. All right, and then last but not least, we have Sinister. Ooh, that's spooky. So those are the six that they sent me, and I'm gonna start uh, with going through the notes and description on the Halloween. All right, so let me find my little page. Sorry, excuse me, I've gotta find this. They sent me a few different pages. All right. Halloween top notes are black licorice, anise, fennel. Your mid notes are clove, cinnamon, and nutmeg. And your base notes are musk, cedarwood, sweet, tonk, sweet, tonka, and vanilla. Let me zoom in on that so I don't lose it. There we go. All right. So let's smell these. I did already smell them, so I'm not going to be like surprised or anything. Okay. I have to be honest, there's one note in this candle that totally ruins it for me. <laughs> and that is the licorice. That's what I smell in here, the licorice. If you like licorice, you are going to love this. You get that black licorice scent to it. But I mean, honestly, none of these notes seem bad to me except for that licorice. And that just completely ruins it for me, unfortunately. So I don't like this one at all. No, this is not for me. I get the licorice. That's really um, what I get in here mostly. I do think that there is a spiciness to this, just a slight spice. I think that that comes from the cinnamon and the clove and the nutmeg. Um, there's also kind of like a slight earthiness from here, I guess, um, that comes from the cedarwood and the musk. But I, get, I just get that licorice, unfortunately. I don't like licorice. I never have liked licorice since. I don't like the taste or the scent. Um, but if you do, you're gonna definitely wanna pick this one up because it smells like licorice to me. So yeah, I don't mind the label. I will definitely burn these. I'm still gonna burn and review all of them um, because that is, that is the thing that I should do as a YouTuber. But um, yeah, just personally, this one is not for me. So again, if you like licorice, you're gonna like this. So that is Halloween. Kind of disappointed because I really wanted to like that one because it's just called Halloween. But all right, let's go back to my favorite one because I definitely um, have some thoughts on this one. This is called Trick or Treat. Now, I don't know if this one is new or not. I feel like I remember this one being um, in the collection last year, although I didn't really, well, I did make a purchase last year, but it was a very small purchase. So I can't remember if this one is new or not, but this is definitely my favorite out of these six. All right, so Trick or Treat has notes of Top notes of poison apple, green aldehydic, fir marine, mid notes of pine, cinnamon, and clove, and then your base notes are sandalwood, musk, cedar, guacyac wood, um, and moss. I never know how to say that word, and Kringle loves to put it in their notes, and I've already read through all these notes that that word is gonna come up again. But anyways, uh, trick or treat. This is the cute label on here to me. I feel like this is the cutest, the most like friendly, I guess, but um, I love this scent. This is really good, you guys. This is definitely my favorite. Um, I could actually see myself picking up one more of these. This is really, really good. I get the apple in here and it's just a really nice apple. This reminds me a lot of another, I don't know if it's a candle or if it's like a memory in here, but this smells just like something to me that I've smelled before for sure. It's really good. This is apple. You do get um, some of that uh, spice in here. It's not very spicy though. I think the main note in here is the apple. I do get a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of clove in here. There again is also kind of like this earthiness from it. A sandalwood, um, cedar wood, uh, pine. I I don't get a lot of pine in here to be honest. I get that really like juicy apple. Um, it's kind of like the same. It kind of smells to me like a Macintosh apple almost. That's kind of, maybe that's what I'm smelling in here. It's kind of like you have Yankee Candles Macintosh and it meets like a spooky earthy fragrance. That's what I get in here. 
I really like this one though. This is my favorite. I can't wait to burn this one. If I do make an order uh, for this Halloween, I think this one, I might throw another one in my cart because I really like this one. These also make really good gifts, you guys, for Halloween. So I, I don't expect you guys to like put one in every basket for the kids. But you know, if you have like a Halloween party to go to, that would be a good gift to, um, to give to the host or the hostess. All right, what's next? Let's talk, uh, let's talk seven days. This is the creepiest label in my opinion, like I said. This is like kind of weird, I feel like, to have this burning, but if you have a lot of Halloween decor, I feel like this these candles will just go right with your Halloween decor very well. All right, seven days. Your notes on here are top notes of dewy greens, herbaceous leaves, mid notes of apple blossom, jasmine blooms, mint leaf, and thyme. And your base notes are cedarwood, patchouli, geranium, and musk. All right, you guys. I actually like this one. Now, this is not specifically in my wheelhouse, I don't think, but I do like this one. What it is to me is it's very herbal. Um, if you like herbal scents, I think you will really like this one. This does definitely give me like a Halloween vibe just from the scent. Um... I get the greens, I get the herbs. Um, I do get a little bit of that apple and jasmine blossom. It has a slight floralness to it. Um, and you get also that earthiness once again. I feel like all of these are gonna have earthiness in them, by the way, so just be prepared for that. Maybe a little bit of patchouli in here. Yeah, it's kind of like a um, floral meets a earthy meets a herby scent um that is what it smells like to me i like this one though this is going to be really interesting to burn i'm excited to see how this one translates over i feel like kringle loves herbaceous scents like the herbs and the garden type scents this kind of to me smells like a halloween garden like if you had like a garden during halloween this is what it would smell like so I like the seven days. If you like herb scents, then I think I would recommend picking this one up. All right, um, what should we do next? Let's do, let's do It's Evil. Here's It's Evil right here. This looks like a child with a balloon. And what is he holding? Can anyone tell? Oh, a teddy bear. Wow, that is creepy. All right, so It's Evil is top notes of pastry spice, Butter, caramel are the mid notes, and your base notes are almond and vanilla. So, oops. I actually like this one a lot. Hold on, let me show you guys. This is a perfect example. Sometimes these little pieces uh, pop off. What you do is you just put them back on and then they snap on very easily. Um, back to the candle. So, this is really good, you guys. This is delicious. This, to me, if you've smelled um, vanilla cookie crunch from Better Homes and Gardens, this smells very similar to me. This smells like a cookie, um, which I really did not expect from this label, but this smells good actually. Um, I get the pastry. If you like that like pastry, like pie crust, um, just like that pastry type of smell to it, and then you're gonna like this. It has um, a little bit of spice in here. It's not a ton though, in my opinion. It's definitely baking spices, but this just smells like a pie crust. Um, it's good. And this is a baked pie crust. This is not like a doughy scent. This is a baked like pie crust or a cookie. Um, it's really good. I think it's the almond maybe that I get in here. I get the almond. It's really good, you guys. If you're a gourmand lover and you want a good Halloween gourmand scent, it's weird because you would not expect that from this label, but that's what it is. I really like this one. Um, I think this might pair really well with the apple one and kind of give it like a gourmand vibe to it. So I really like the It's Evil. All right, let's move on to, uh, let's do Coven. So Coven, this one, I actually, it looks creepy, but I like the colors of this label. Um, it's pretty in a weird way. All right, Coven has top notes of cinnamon leaf, lemon flower. Your mid notes are lily of the valley, jasmine, and patchouli. And your base notes are musk, sandalwood, vanilla, and there's that note again, guac yak wood. Um, I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure though. Okay, 
First thing, this is so strong. You guys, this kind of like, I almost like made a face when I smelled this the first time I smelled it because it was so strong. This is so strong. I actually like this one though, but I think some of you are probably gonna think that this is way too much. Um, this smells like a really like nice, like perfume almost. It's a little bit perfumey to me, um, but like not in the traditional way. To me, it smells very powdery. It's got a sweetness to it. It's a very unique scent. I have not smelled a lot of scents like this one before. This is really, really different and unique and interesting. I do get that cinnamon leaf note in here. It's not like your traditional spicy cinnamon. This is that cinnamon leaf. There is definitely a floralness to this one as well. You get your jasmine, you get your lily of the valley, and that, that is mixed with like an earthy patchouli, musk, sandalwood, and vanilla. This is actually a really gorgeous scent. This is really unique, it's different, and um, if you're a fan of florals or powdery or like perfumier type scents, then I think that you will really like the Coven scent. So that is my thoughts on Coven. All right, and then last but not least, let's talk about Sinister, which I think is on the next page. Let me go, Sinister. Where is Sinister? Oh, here it is, all right. Top notes of ginger, nutmeg, cinnamon, and cardamom. Mid notes of Moscato wine, dark plum, and cranberries. And then your base notes are amber, vanilla, coconut, and musk. This is really good, you guys. This is very unique. Now, I expected to love this on cold, but it's kind of got a weird note to it. I get the fruits to here. These are really like darker fruits, like cardamom, or sorry, not cardamom, plum, um, berries. You get that like wine note, but it's really interesting. It's kind of got a spookiness to it. It's really interesting. There's a slight spice in here as well, and maybe that's coming from the cardamom. I do get the nutmeg, but this is just very different and unique. I like this one. It kind of has an earthiness to it as well. I feel like the common thing in here is that all of these have earthiness to them, but I really like this scent. I think this one is unique and different. So that is my thoughts on the six that they sent me. Now, I'm not gonna go through all the notes on the other ones, but um, I will definitely show you guys the labels. And if you go on the Kringle Instagram, I think they're posting all of the new ones. If they're not, I'll go ahead and post the picture on my Instagram page to follow me if you're not already, and my tag is in the uh, description. So, um, what does this one say? I can't tell what they say exactly, but here is some of the labels. This one looks like a scarecrow. This one is Witching Hour, this one right here. Um, it's Evil, I already showed you guys. I showed you guys all those. Um, this one's called Blood Moon with the moon and I think that's a wolf. Um, Witch's Cauldron is back right there. Um, Candy Corn, I had this one last year. This one's really good. It's kind of like a buttery, like, uh, like candy type scent. Uh, Sleepy Hollow, I had that last year. I didn't love that one, to be honest. Um, it's Alive right there. Ooh, this one looks pretty. What does that say? I can't tell what that says, but it's got a bird on it. Um, Symm Symmetry Lane, I think, uh, they're for that one. And then those are all of the Kringle ones. The Three Wicks are right here. We've got um, Hollowed Ground right here. This one is Trick or Treat. This one is Forbidden Forest. Sorry, I'm trying to read these backwards on the camera finder. Um, pumpkin Smash, I might have to pick that one up. Um, Black Cats. And then the last one is called Thriller. So those are the new three wicks. Those look really cute and fun for Halloween. So guys, that is the information I have for Halloween for all of you that have been, that have been asking. Let me know in the comments, do you guys uh, look forward to this Halloween collection? Are you guys going to be shopping? And let me know what is on your wish list down below in the comments. Again, these are launching Thursday, August 
4th at 12.01 a.m., so Thursday into Friday. This is not a pre-sale. It's going to start shipping immediately. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comments, but thank you guys so much for watching. Please like if you found this video, video helpful. Subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.